In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to create 3D text in Adobe's Illustrator CS4 program. Uh, the first thing you do, of course, is open up Adobe's Illustrator. And when, upon opening, there's a dialog window here, uh, which is your welcome screen. And it gives me the option here if I, if I want to open a previous item that I've been working on, or if I want to create a new document. Um, for the sake of today's exercise, we're going to create a new web document. So we'll click on web document there, and we'll call it 3D text. And our web size, I think we'll go for the 1024 by 768. And we're just going to use the default screen and RGB. We'll click OK. First thing we should do is save our file. No, we've already saved it. That's right. OK, so to create 3D text in Illustrator is really quite simple. You come over, over here, get your mouse and click on the type tool. And that op opens up the text dialog options here. Currently, you'll see uh, we've got the fill, the outline, we've got the stroke or the outline thickness, we've got the font, the style of the font, and the size of the font. Um, for this exercise, I think we might use Helvetica. So we'll get a Helvetica new and Helvetica new. A 3D text looks good when it's fairly bold, I think. And for ease of seeing, let's go up to, let's say, a 48 point. And I think we might just call it 3D text. But what colour are we going to do it? Because we've got 3D, uh, we want to see the um, depth of it rendered. And I've found that a white colour for the, for the um, outlines can be great. And it's on the fill colour that you can have a bit more fun. Now we could do a plain fill colour or we could do a pattern. Why don't we have a look at what patterns are in the swatch palette. So I've gone down to patterns, to nature, and we've got foliage. That opens up another palette on the other side here, which we could bring over there to the swatch palette, but I quite like working with it a bit remotely like over here. We might go for color daisy insert. So we'll just start our project in the middle of the screen and we'll call it three B text in Illustrator. So I'll highlight that text and I wanted my stroke to be in white and I may as well make it two pixels. And I did want this to be in the daisy fill. Now we should have it. See how it doesn't stand out terribly well? That's because we've got the white edge on it. I think I might make it even a bit bigger so it's a bit more obvious. No, we'll go even bigger again. Let's go up to 72 point. You can go larger than 72 point if you want. Now, there we have it there. Let's get the selection tool, select the whole lot of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the effects menu. And when we hit the effects menu, we have a drop down and there's 3D and there's extrude and bevel. So this is where we get the 3D appearance by extruding it. So we're going to go extrude and bevel. And I think it's always a good idea to click preview. So we're going to click on preview. And it's going to start straight away rendering a preview for us to look at. And this one is 50 points in depth, which I find can be a little bit too deep. But let's wait and see. And there we have it. 3D text in Illustrator. And I think the 50 point extrusion depth works quite well. 
So I'm going to go OK to that. Now, the white has rendered up as a really great grey. And to improve on this and give it a bit more depth, we could come up back to the effects menu, come down to stylize, and you'll see there in the stylize drop down menu, there's drop shadow. We click preview on the drop shadow as well. And that will make it stand out even more from the white background, which it's on. There we have it. I'm pretty happy with that. It just gives it that little bit of bounce that it needs to pop it up off the page surface. So I'm going to click OK to that. And um, then I'm going to save it. It's uh, just going to recreate the geometry. There we have it. So we'll go File, Save. And I've already selected 3D text. Save it to the desktop. And we'll create PDF compatible files. And there we are, it's done. Save the Illustrator file. So there you have it.